Thieves target unlocked cars in Summit Cove and Dillon Valley. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, break out the s'mores. The fire ban is lifted. Fire authorities yesterday dropped stage one fire restrictions for the county, meaning campfires and backyard fires of all kinds are allowed again. Earlier today, Breckenridge dropped its ban, and White River National Forest should drop the ban for dispersed camping by Friday. Fire danger today is moderate. Thieves are stealing property from unlocked cars in Dillon Valley and Summit Cove, but the Summit Sheriff's Office says theft is easy to avoid, and Summit Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimon says thieves have been going after cars unlocked one by one. If people would as simple as lock their doors, we would cut a lot of this out. These are not smash and grabs. You know, we're not breaking windows and grabbing stuff. We're go people are just trying doors. They're walking down the street flipping door handle. Today, Summit County Dispatch unveiled a new text to 911 feature designed for any emergency call across the county. The feature works with all cell phones if there is service. Simply enter 911 in the text to field and send a message. A dispatcher will respond through text. Officials say it's great for those who are deaf or people who might be in danger if they make a voice call. The Colorado Lottery has pumped $7.6 million into local open space programs since 1996, but county officials say that money is often matched by voter-approved initiatives to get those larger, sometimes very costly programs off the ground. Brian Lorch with the county. We're able to use our money to match theirs and, and get larger projects done. Summit voters have passed four ballot issues for open space and parks programs, and that money helps secure lottery funding through Great Outdoors Colorado, a grant program. You need that local funding in order to get GOCO funds because there's almost always a match on any grant. Local towns and the Summit School District have also received GOCO funding for rec path improvements and projects like Tiger Stadium at Summit High. Summit School District spent more than $70 million on improvements this summer, including new secure vestibules for all nine schools. What do those improved entryways do? District Superintendent Carrie Bueller explains. What we know about school safety is that what we can control best is who's in our buildings. Officials say the updates are in response to recent incidents across the nation. Every outside door is locked during the school day, and the vestibules give front desk staff better control over who enters and exits their buildings. In sports, the Rockies and Giants wrap their series today. First pitch is 640. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, the Summit Mountain Challenge Bike Series finishes this Saturday with the Fall Classic in Breckenridge. Also this weekend is the Oktoberfest 5K in Breck. Cost is $30. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.